All right, folks. Well, we are on our first day of the Patreon camp out. We got Sasquatch all set up, and uh, we've got a few people already here this morning. This is the first day, so uh, actually, we just had a couple people come in early last night. So this is my buddy Scott's rig. He just made this uh, wedge camper for his. He got it done just in time for the camp out. He's got it on his old '99 Ford F250 with the 7.3, but uh, yeah, it came out really well. Gives them a great place to camp and also plenty of storage in the back. Here's my buddy Gary's setup. He's got his Jeep. He's been using the Gazelle tent. Nice setup, gives him lots of room. Got a little camp in the back with all his gear. Gary right there in an arrow that he found in the woods. All right, we got Marshall set up here and his wife, Courtney, and their dog, Silas, and their kids, and they've got a rooftop tent, newer Dodge set up. How's everything working out for you there, Courtney? Oh, it's great. What you cooking? We're cooking some sausage. Cooking sausage on yes. the Scottle. That looks good. Yeah. It's my Scott, buddy Scott's wife, Brandy. What are you doing? Doing some dishes? Dishes. Doing dishes, camp dishes. She just made me a wonderful breakfast. They got their easy up. Great place to get out of the sun if it rains. So we're just outside of the camp, just a little bit over, and you can see we got a nice river flowing. Uh, a lot of glacier melt, so it's a little bit on the dirty side, but you know, still nice to have, especially since it's still getting very hot during the day. We can walk over here and at least hang out and cool our feet. Doesn't Daisy look pretty in the morning sun? Hi, baby. I love the way her, uh, her coat shines when the morning sun hits it. Are you gonna come across there? You make it? There you go. All right, give me a high five. All right. So one of the things I set up here is the Joka shower system. That way, if anybody starts feeling the multi-day funk, they can come down here and get a shower. So it uses a little hot water heater. That's a hot tap. Basically, it pulls water right out of the creek. You have a little water pump that uh, pulls the water. It's ran by the Jackery 300. Barely uses any power, so it can run on the Jackery 300 for a long time. And then I've got a small little propane tank that is feeding propane to the hot tap and it's on demand. So as soon as you turn the water on, clicks on a little igniter and uh, starts heating the water up and makes it nice and warm. And then you just got a hose going right into the shower system and uh, nice hot shower right off a beautiful little stream. So this is how we know that the hot outside, Silas likes to lay in the cool creek. Does that feel good, buddy? Mm -hmm. da Daisy's over in the creek too playing over there so we're getting a little bit of a hailstorm rainstorm everybody's weathering pretty well but you can see it's pretty good sized hail that's coming down lightning show too with this hailstorm. Daisy's not a fan so we're kind of hanging out here at the van and uh, trying to keep her happy and comfy. All right so for night number one we are cooking some Thai basil chili for dinner which is going actually looks very tasty. I'm really looking forward to getting into that. So we've had some new people show up to camp. We've got Veebel who has shown up. He's just getting set up over there. We've got David who came all the way from Tennessee. We'll talk to him a little later. We have Linda with her Jeep and her drifter trailer all set up. You guys have seen her in a video or at least her trailer in a video uh, where we did a walk around on that. So she's here. Yeah, we got Steve. He just showed up. He's just getting set up. He's got a forerunner, roof nest. Just getting set up. We're, I didn't believe how many people have shown up just on the first Monday night. It's going to be a full camp here soon. 
And Andrew and Nicole, they came. Where'd you guys go hiking earlier? The uh, Ho River Trail. The Ho River Trail. So you guys came from the Ho River Trail and made a little detour over to the camp for the night. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And you guys are doing the tent with you guys. Oh, and you guys got to set up in there. So. He goes in the tent. We sleep in here. So nice. Backpacking meals tonight, leftovers. <laughs> we Perfect. Were, yeah, backpack prepared, not. Overland prepared. Not overland prepared? <laughs> well, it looks like you guys are doing all right. Not bad. What's for dinner tonight, Marshall? We got some hot dogs, gourmet. Gourmet is what it looks like. Yeah, cooking up. <laughs> Plug your YouTube channel real quick. Chambers Family Overland. Chambers Family Overland. That's right. Yes. All right, guys, check them out if you want to see some overland adventures in the Dodge. Okay, Brandy, you just went down and had a shower in the Joka. How was it? It was a real treat. It was awesome. I know what he's getting for Christmas this year. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this has been our morning routine. We get up. We've been working on the laptop here in the van. Having a little coffee. Van Livens, what's on been we've been drinking. Daisy just lays down here in her bed. Well, I kind of rub her with my feet. But yeah, we've been doing this in the morning. Uh, it's pretty early. Nobody's up or moving yet. So we've been working every morning and trying to get this video out, which hopefully by the time you see this video, this one has posted and you guys are watching it. All right, we got uh, Richard Foote up here. He's got his new GMC just freshly from AJ's 4x4 Vans. It is looking sweet. All set up, lifted. Nice camp set up. Check out his build inside. It looks like a little country, uh, like farmhouse. It's really nice, homey feeling, super cool. We got David over here. You can tell the YouTuber. Camera out, <laughs> editing video as he's uh, camped. Drone on the table, tablets. Along with food. Food. If you want to check him out, here's his YouTube channel, Amazing Life. All right, let's see if we, Donald can actually park this thing. I mean, he's used to a much smaller vehicle. Is this Austin Powers or what? What's that? Is this Austin Powers or what? I mean, how, how, many, how many times you gotta go back and forth? <laughs> All right, so right now we're just uh, enjoying the latest episode of Soft Roading the West. And uh, we're getting the three, he's got a 360 camera, so we get to see a little bit different perspective. Um, Donald, could you, would you mind doing some narration real quick? Getting into the depths of Central Oregon's beauty is a almost spiritual. Okay, so, anyways, <laughs> it's not quite the same as the more polished versions that he does online. It's, I mean, it's still pretty, pretty good. So my buddy Matt came out. You guys have seen him in a few videos. He's got his son, young son, Sawyer. Sawyer, are you having fun in there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, people just keep crashing our party, like unwanted guests in Dodges. Oh, wait, Excuse me, this is a Patreon only camp out. Well, thank goodness I pay some Patreon to you, so <laughs> just to come here. This is what I'm well, look at these guys. They come in, they just feel like they're going to come in. I thought it was birthday weekend. I just heard it was uh, some famous person, a famous YouTuber having this bash, so I couldn't miss out. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm, and Jason's here too. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah Donald <laughs> right, showed Donald, up. What's up. Donald showed up. It's all been like, yeah, this is really cool. When's Donald getting here? Well, I'll tell you something. I worked a full day today, drove through four hours of traffic just to see you for a few hours. So Edward only gets to stay one day, so yeah. he's going to have to take off this one. But I'm super blessed that he came because it's his big 4-0 today. So yes, if you guys sir. go over his channel, watch one of his videos, make sure to wish him happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm already feeling the pain in the joints, and I guess that's what happens right after you turn 40, right? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, it was awesome being here. Thanks for having me out here. Um, proud supporter of Jason, Primal Outdoors, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with you again yep. soon. Yep, we gotta, we'll be doing a trip with Soft Roading the Frontier here, yeah. <laughs> right here in a couple of weeks. So yeah. yeah, that'll be pretty awesome. We're gonna put our rigs to the test.
What are you having for breakfast there, Donald? <laughs> Grizzlies, granola, and yogurt. One of my favorite breakfasts. Great way to start the day. Yeah, I'm having bacon. It's also a great way to start the day. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we got uh, Daniel who showed up. He is rocking a Nissan Frontier. He's got kind of a cool setup. I'm gonna show you guys around the back. He's got this really cool umbrella thing that I've never seen before. Gives him some shade in the back. How's it going, Daniel? Pretty Bugging good. you while you're eating? No worries. It's my 360 awning. Yeah, your 360 awning, but it hooks right into his hitch. That's really cool. And sets up and gives him nice shade around the back of the truck where he has his camp set up, tent over here. Yeah, I think this is a really cool, compact uh, setup. I've never seen something like this before, and it's always cool when you see something you've never seen. All right, we got Brian here. Uh, he's just running the Tacoma, clean setup. He used the easy up awning, caught underneath. Simple setup, but nice, you know, lots of cover and, and uh, open air. So yeah, I'm glad you came, Brian. Thank you. All right, we're at Kevin Wentz's place where he got his wife, Cassie, and his setup. He's got a little trailer that he's built. Nice little camp setup small little utility trailer that he converted himself to make a nice little uh, camping setup and he beats me out with uh, the older ford his ford is older than mine but it's a looks like it's well taken care of in good shape and perfect for this type of camping all right we got ray and meredith and their family and his cool uh, little trailer here i think this is really interesting he built this uh, completely out of 8020. Just had it, got a frame, built the whole trailer out of 8020. Um, it's got a little pull out kitchen and water, but I think that's a cool DIY and uh, something that anybody could do without any real fabrication skills. So that's awesome. All right, so I'm at Leah's camp. She's got her new Forerunner here and she's camping right out of the back of it. She's got a little bit of a camp set up outside. Leah's kind of new and she's getting started and she felt like this would be a great event to come and feel safe and uh, try out some of her gear. That is correct. It's been great. So Megan's making me breakfast. She came for a couple of days to spend some time with us and she is cooking me some bacon on the volcano stove and the little plow disc. Thanks for cooking me bacon, babies. It's pretty handy. You just need like a little table. A little table? A little table, a little table right there. But we can probably do that. I have one. All right, we got Jason and Dre and their little teardrop cooking some breakfast. What are you cooking me, Dre? I'm just making coffee. You're just making coffee. We got a little teardrop pulling it with a Ford Explorer. Appreciate that. Love the Ford Explorer. I think it's a great platform. So one thing here I've noticed at the camp is Jack Ree has been fairly well represented Ben and Helena have a couple panels and it looks like a Jackery 1000. David with Amazing Life has been running the Jackery panels with the 1000 in the Jeep to run his refrigerator and gear as well. Jason and Dre are supplementing their power with the 300. Kevin's been using the 500 to run his refrigerator for his trip. And of course, as I've mentioned before, I've been using the 300 to power my shower system all week. So that has worked out great and uh, been very handy to have showers every day when I wanted it. We were at uh, Ben and Helena's camp. They are running a little CVT trailer like the one I used to have and the CVT rooftop tent. They've got the Forerunner. I have been super impressed with Elena being, she has been toting around this young one in a little backpack all weekend long. But uh, glad you guys came out and uh, brought the kids. Yeah. That is looking like quite the fantastic breakfast, I will say. So last but not least, uh, Chris came in yesterday and uh, he's just got his tundra here, little awning, camp set up outside. Sleeping inside looks really comfortable. The only thing you're missing is Jen. We missed Jen this time, <laughs> Chris. So, Jen, we missed you. Next time, you better be at winter camp. Yep, we'll get her out here next time. So, one nice thing was a couple of people brought their fire pits out. <clears throat> so, we were able to set up chairs in the evening and sit and enjoy uh, the ambiance of fire and chat around. And it was really fun. 
Looking back through the footage, I realized I missed two sets of people. I missed Mark and his wife, Margie, who came out and slept in the back of their Ford F-150. And I also missed Carol and Gerald, who came out and camped in their Toyota Tacoma and slept in their Gazelle tent. Thank you guys very much for coming, and I'm sorry I missed filming your setups. See you later. Alright you guys, well what an absolutely great week. Everybody has now headed out and they're on their way home. Uh, great time with everybody, great group of people. Uh, just awesome time. Really can't appreciate enough all of them supporting the channel and coming out and spending some time with me. I wish everybody that uh, was on my Patreon could come out and experience this. I realize for some the distance is just too much but I just want you all to know that even if you can't come out, I really truly do appreciate uh, your support on Patreon. And you know, and if you're not one of my Patreon supporters and you'd like to come out to one of these events, I do plan on having two a year, one in the summer, one in the winter, and uh, would love to see you there. So if you're interested, definitely check the link below for my Patreon and become a supporter of the channel and a part of probably the best community that I know of uh, outdoor people, so. Anyhow, I'm going to wrap up myself. I've been out here for a week. I'm going to go get a few things uh, cleaned up, get resupplied, and we're heading out on another week-long adventure tomorrow. So you'll be seeing some more videos of that, and we'll see you guys again outside.